Hey guys, so for those of you who don't know, Jose is bearing down on Connecticut right now. Not really, we're just getting like the outer edge of it. But, winds are picking up, it's getting rainy, um, so I'm going out right now to do some pre-storm hunting. Yeah, I hope I get something before it starts raining. Come on, kitty, let's go. Starting to rain a little bit. You see this? This is insane. If this squirrel's dumb enough to let me just sneak up on him, then this is Darwinism in action. He's on top of the rock. He's just sitting there. That was the loudest water smack I've heard in a long time. But that second one I don't think did that. Had to have hit him. I'm gonna circle around the rock to cut off any trees that he could go into if he's not down. There he is. He's down. Okay, that was a headshot. Okay, so here's what I got. Um, it's a big male gray squirrel. It's weird, it looks like he has tints of red. Look at the hint of red in his pelt. That's crazy, even on the back. Okay, so I got this squirrel, and as I was actually coming down here, right under that, like down that walkway, where I usually get squirrels right on the other side of that stone wall in those trees. But as I was coming down that walkway, there were squirrels jumping in the trees above me. And I was like, you know what? I could do this, this would be easy, right here, squirrel hunt. But I saw this guy down here. I wanted to take a little bit longer range shot. So, I mean, this is probably 25 yards maybe. And I don't know, managed to whack him in the head. So. I think that went pretty well. Um, the first shot missed, which, eh, it missed. It hit the water, like right there actually. You can see the algae hasn't quite filled it back over. After coming out here in the storm, well, pre-storm, and bagging this squirrel, uh, I think I'm gonna abstain from squirrel hunting for probably a week or so. I don't know, I just, I've done it quite a lot lately. I was lucky enough though that this was a male. So it's not like there's gonna be any shortage of little squirrel babies running around. So I try to look ahead and I don't know, I, I try to manage the populations in the property pretty well. And I, I think I do for the most part. I mean, it's a huge property, tons of land for rabbits, tons of woods for squirrels. I mean, this is 24 acres, probably, probably like 12 of the 24 acres are all just woodlands. And most of it I don't even go to. I mean, I probably only go to about 20 to 25% of the woods that we have. Just because most of it is briars and thick stuff. Regardless, there's tons of places for these animals to be. Um, I only harvest from a few locations around the yard. I'm going to get this guy back and cleaned up. And I, I really want to get him skinned before it's like trying to carve wood. If you guys like this video, hit the like button because it helps get the video out there more YouTube algorithms and subscribe because that is the best way to support the channel is to just subscribe. It's real easy, just the button at the bottom. It's free. You get your money's worth here. Thanks for watching. I love every single one of you and I'll see you guys next time.
Oh, little kitty. Oh, youngest kitty. Come on over. I got you a squirrel. Actually, it's for me. But you can sniff it.